Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BTC, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, um, I for those of you who have been following the channel for you know at least a couple months, you guys see my interviews. You guys sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I do uh, interviews with boxers via Google Hangout, and one of the interviews I did uh, a couple months ago. I did one with Adrian Granados. Adrian Granados, for those of you who may not remember, is the guy who was picked as a stay busy opponent for Amir Imam, who a guy who I also interview. Um, and he basically Granados went in there against an undefeated, highly touted prospect, a guy that everybody thought um, and still some people think will become a, a great fighter in the sport, um, and destroyed him, iced him. And um, exposed any flaw he had, because he had been battle tested. You know, he had been in there with Felix Diaz, Brad Solomon, and a whole host of other guys. Um, battle tested fighter who just hadn't got the breaks and had lost some very close fights in the past, and that was his moment. And um, you know, there were some deals, there were some fights being discussed. Uh, Ruslan Provodnikov was one fight that was being discussed. You know, and that fight didn't materialize. So Gennaro deserved that fight with Provodnikov. Didn't get it. Ronikov wound up eventually losing to John Molina. So now, it's been reported by BoxingScene.com that he might be a fight Molina or Ricky Burns. So here's what here's what his manager, Andy Zach, said. I quote, We're in the midst of discussions right now to get him a fight within the next couple of weeks. He should be in the ring by July. But nothing is for sure in this business. We knew we know that until the name was on the contract, nothing's done. And even then, it can't fall out. It can fall out. But I think it's going to happen, and we're going to have a big fight, whether it's against Mr. John Molina or Ricky Burns. We will be busy, and we'll be fighting again before the end of this year in a big fight. If not two more times, whether that's for the world title, that's up in the air. We've already been in discussions with Molina. Right now, we're just focused on the smaller fight. Now, Granados, he's a guy that, you know... Ill. I hate to say this because I don't like saying this about any fighters making an excuse, but I'm, 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 I'm going to put it to you like this. Granados is the type of fighter that if he had Al Heyman or he had top rank behind him, if he had like a big conglomerate behind him, like, like we see with other fighters, a lot of these fights that were close decisions, majority decisions, split decisions, a lot of them would have went his way, and you're looking at a guy who's either undefeated and um, or has one loss, and that's... A, dramatic difference especially in this era of the new age boxing fan than someone who just has four losses and people don't do the damn research and they say oh he's got four losses but they don't see that nobody's really outside of any Frankie Gomez legitimately beat him and um, when he fought a blue chip guy in Amiri Mom who was you know undefeated running through everybody looking like the second coming of Tommy Hearns he went out there and he proved that he was a legitimately, you know, good fighter at 140, and now he's in a position where, after he beat a guy like Imam, I mean, I'm gonna be a Imam fan. If they want to do a rematch, I've talked to Adrian on here before. He said he doesn't mind if I give him Imam a rematch. He thinks his style is to, is is a type of style that will always give me Imam problems, and he's not wrong because it's true. All that being said, um, Adrian Granados, Adrian Granados should. Due to that win, get himself a fight against Molina or Ricky Burns. Who Ricky Burns, by the way, who just picked up the WBA title. So should he fight Burns, that should be for the title. And I, I think he deserves it. Guys like Granados, blue collar, you know, they're not. They're, they're, he's literally, he's literally the opposite of everything that's going on in boxing today. You know, we have guys like Adrian Broner, formerly at 440 pounds. Guys like Adrian Broner, guy has not beat anybody. I can, can you name can you anybody out there? You can't even name the four guys he beat for his world titles. But you, you'll see him prance around and talk about how he won four titles in four weight classes by before the age of 25 or whatever. But he'd be nothing but uh, Publix and, and and Market Basket and Costco grocery store workers to beat them. He didn't beat nobody. But yet you see him get title shot after title shot after title shot. And then he's just foolishness in the streets. Funny guy, entertaining, but he doesn't deserve all the opportunities he's got. But then you have a guy like Granados, blue collar, works hard, hasn't ducked or dodged nobody, been put in tough, never had nothing given to him, nothing given to him in the sport of boxing. And here we are. Uh, he's roughly what uh, into his uh, twenty, somewhere in the in the twenty second, twenty third professional fight stage of his career. Still hasn't got a title shot yet. Yeah, Broner who has gotten about, like four or five different title shots with just about the same amount of fights. So. All I mean is said, man, it's a joke. 
Um, he should be fighting for the title by the end of this year. And um, Ricky Burns, you know, step up, man. Ricky Burns, step up. Molina, John John Molina, you know, give give Granados that chance to prove, continue to prove that he's um, one of the better fighters at 140. And um, you know, if Terence Crawford wants to stay 140, you know, uh, obviously I, you guys know what I think about. I think Ter I think Terence Crawford is the best fighter at 140. But if he's planned is to stay at 140, if he beats po if he beats Victor Postal, one of the first names on his agenda should be Adrian Granados because Adrian Granados gets a big fight against Molina or Burns. And especially if he fights Burns, wins, and picks up a title, Crawford needs to fight Granados. He's got to come see Granados. And that would be a tough fight for him, too. You know, obviously, I favor him because I think I think he's the most skilled fight, one of the most skilled fighters on the planet. But he, that's a guy he's got to come see. I, I think Granados will give him a tough fight. So, you know, 140 pounders, stop ducking Adrian Granados. You know it's a tough fight. Sign the damn contract. Um, Andy Zach is his, his manager coming out and saying that they're going to have some potentially some big fights with Molina and Ricky Burns, hopefully one of those, I don't care which, I prefer the Ricky Burns one just because for a title, but either one is fine with me, um, just rooting for Granados to do good things in the sport, maybe even if you can't get those done, maybe give us that or Imam rematch, and if you can beat Imam a second time, you know, further legitimize himself that way, so let me know what you guys think, Adrian Granados rumored to be fighting in uh, against a John Molina or Ricky Burns. Uh, before the year, this year is over, would you, like, what, 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 would you guys like to see those fights? And if so, who do you think would win them? Leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.